So once you're ready to publish your Shiny app, you'll want to head over to shinyapps.io and click on the sign up link. Now from here, you can go ahead and enter in your email address. I'm going to use apetri at tennessee.edu and just come up with some sort of password. So once you've signed up, not now, you're going to want to create a username, essentially that uh, is the URL that is going to house your Shiny apps. So I could just say Professor Petrie, and I'm going to click Save here. And then that way, whenever you uh, publish a new app, you know what the URL is going to be. Once you're on your account page, you're pretty much ready to go to start publishing your apps. So let's go ahead and publish one. I'm going to head over to a folder that contains my Shiny app, a .r file, and then also the data file that the Shiny app references. And when you publish an app, you want to make sure that you have a folder that contains all of these items, just that single .r file corresponding to your app, and then whatever data files that app requires. So I'm going to open up my Shiny app. I'm going to run it just to make sure that everything is working great. And it looks like it's running just fine. And so I'm basically ready to publish. Now, one thing that you have to make sure that you have is the RS Connect package installed on your laptop. So if you go library RS connect, it should load up just fine. If it says unknown library, you can always do install.packages and then in quotes RS connect to update it, to get it installed. And once it's there, as long as you can do library RS connect, then you'll be good to go. Okay, so my app is ready to publish. How am I going to go about doing that? Well, I'm going to go and look at actually the step two, the authorize account, and make sure that my RStudio is set up to do this publishing. Now, by default, when this loads up, it's going to have this little secret in brackets. It turns out we actually need to see what's behind the secret in order to link the account. So we're going to sh say show secret and then copy to clipboard. That'll open up a window where we have this whole thing highlighted. So as the instructions suggest, we'll say copy to clipboard, control C, and then we can press OK to get rid of that. Then we'll head over back to our studio. We'll find the blue icon, click the arrow, and we'll say manage accounts. And so here is where we can say to connect to an account to a shinyapps.io. And here is where we will paste that information. Now you'll have to make sure that secret equals, you know, whatever that secret code was. You want to make sure that's not secret in uh, the uh, those brackets. And so we'll click connect account. So we're connected, we can press OK. And now we can go back and revisit and say publish application. So publish from account, Professor Petrie, the title, we'll just leave that as is. Here it's selected the files that it needs to upload in order to make the Shiny app work. So both your shinyapp.r file and your data file, the .csv or r data file, whatever your Shiny app references. And I'm going to go ahead and say publish. And it's getting ready. Bringing up the web browser. Here you can see your username that you picked out, .shinyapps.io, and now we have it published. So the data is there, we're able to interact with the app, and we've successfully published our Shiny app.